coming spirit gives me a sense of pride. His strength and his power gives me courage to succeed. In the eyes of those before me, I see all that I can be. Where else can I go? Where my soul can really grow? Where else can I go? Where my love can truly flow? Where else can I go? Where traditions abound? Where else can I go? Where culture is found? It's the Afrocentric school with the brightest and the best. It's the It's the Afrocentric school where learning is the key. It's harmony and family inside of me. It's the Afrocentric school with the brightest and the best. It's the Afrocentric school we honor elders with respect. It's the Afrocentric school where learning is the key. It's harmony and family inside of me. It's the Afrocentric school where the brightest and the best. It's the Afrocentric. It's the Afrocentric school with the brightest and the best. It's the Afrocentric school we honor elders with respect. It's the Afrocentric school where learning is the key. It's harmony and family inside of. Traditions have told me that we come from kings and queens. Tradition has told me we can realize our dreams. Tradition has told me we have a rich legacy. It's harmony and family inside of me. Yes, it is. And family yes, it is. Ah, inside of genius. me. Ah, yeah, it's harmony. My ancestors and were geniuses. My ancestors were geniuses. My ancestors have made me a genius. My ancestors have made me a genius. And all that I think, say, and do. And all that I think, say, and do. I must declare myself a genius. I am a genius. I am a genius. All of my thoughts, choices, and deeds must reflect my geniusness. I am a genius. Yes. At all times, I must demonstrate excellence. Because I am a genius. I shall. 
Hi everybody, congratulations class of 2020 on this big moment of accomplishment. Both Deborah and I hope you are well and safe and savoring this day because you all earned it. Now it is a little bit different than what you may have had in mind when you began senior year with so much excitement, so much promise. As we all know, this world has changed a lot. In fact, we both ha have to admit that it wasn't easy trying to figure out what to say at this moment in time as we commemorate this special time. A few weeks ago, we would have been talking about the pandemic, urging you to hold on and to begin moving on through this difficult time. Well, now the world is shifting even more, exposing deep and painful fissures around us, around the issues of race and injustice. You were always going to be stepping out into a complex world, no doubt about that, but now you're also stepping into a world that is hurting. And if you are frustrated or maybe even a little anxious, that's understandable. Life is complicated and that's the final big lesson that you're going to have to take away with you as you graduate. But we want you to pause and think differently about your circumstances. Yes, this is an unusual graduation. Yes, things are a bit unsettling. And yes, it's going to take big changes and big ideas. And that's where you all come in. You are a graduating class that will go down in history. Some might even say you're a chosen group of graduates. Now, I know you're rolling your eyes and I've got teenagers. I've seen some eye rolls. Uh, but think for just a few seconds. All 2,500 of you have an opportunity to step up not just to get your diplomas, but to show the world what it means to pivot in the face of difficulty, to create meaning and success in any situation, whether it's a pandemic or a change in, in our racial uh, evaluations, how we see people, how people see us, when the things you are expecting to do don't go the way you expected it to. Now, most of you have had supportive family or friends in your corner to get you this far. There have been days, I am sure, where you felt like you just didn't have it in you. You didn't want to give 100%. Someone probably nudged you along, and if you, they were like my parents, they probably threatened you to get you to get your act together or else. Well, someone cared enough about you to get you through, to make sure that you did that last project, passed that test, won that football game, Somebody helped you get here and to succeed, got you over the hump, made sure you didn't fail. Well, now it's on you. It's up to you to get past these obstacles, these moments of concern, and of course, some disappointment. Okay, so we know that this year ended in unexpected ways, and we still don't even know how it's going to end. You didn't get to go to prom. You didn't have those final basketball games. You didn't get to pull those final senior pranks on the teachers you weren't so crazy about. And you're not getting that strut across the stage right now to grab that diploma and hear your families carry on way <laughs> too loud. Uh, no one can blame you for feeling bummed, class of 2020. No pomp today. That is your circumstance. But now it is up to you to decide what to do with this moment, how to take these struggles and make this a better world. When I was growing up in small town Georgia, post-segregated Georgia, um, I too had my world rattled in a really big way. All those civil rights marches and struggles had led to a monumental Supreme Court decision, Brown versus the Board of Education, which later threw open the schools to integration. Now, after attending an all-black school for most of my life, for the first four years of my life anyway, I was now stepping into a new and kind of bewildering world. Um, yeah, it was kind of bewildering to some of my classmates and their parents. Some of them might have been even disappointed with this new and unsettling time. How are we going to cope with this unknown? Some of them might have asked. Um, some no doubt wanted to know what this is going to mean for the future. It was a new time. It required a different way of thinking. Well, now this was no pandemic at that time. There was some social distance, I have to say, and there was great fear in stepping out into the new world. But like so many of my classmates, I decided that this was a moment to change the equation, to find ways to excel, to be stronger than those who were fearful, to reach deep down and to find my greatness. And in fact, given what is going on right now with all the protests, with a, a resurgence of civil rights, and a lot of young people like you 
leading the way. Class of 2020, this is your moment, your chance to take what history is handing to you and to find your greatness. Some of you are, are celebrating extraordinary success, scholarships, acceptance to elite colleges, even the honor of introducing a former president of the United States during an online talk. Some of you are the first in your families to finish high school and to take steps toward a more promising life. Some of you may even help find a cure for this virus or emerge as leaders in our country, helping us find a new way. And we desperately need new creative leaders. We are so very proud of you, along with Superintendent Talisa Dixon. You are our future, our hope of getting past these difficult times and on to something better. Okay, yes, we may be wearing masks for a little while and maybe doing elbow bumps for a little bit longer until we get there, but we will get to a better place because of you. So as former First Lady Michelle Obama suggested, do a little dance today. Celebrate yourselves. Don't do that dance, please. But celebrate yourselves because you have earned this moment and nothing, nothing can take that away from you. So as you step out into this big, complicated, unpredictable world of ours, well, I like to do predictions, but that's a whole other story. I urge you to step boldly. Do it like you mean it. Make your decisions count. Someone once said, every decision that we make leads us down a different road. We'll never come to exactly the same crossroads. Every decision that we make has significance. The tiniest choice that we make reverberates throughout the entire universe. So today, class of 2020, accept your moment in history. They are going to be talking about you for a long time. You are the class that stepped back out into the light after some dark days. You are the class that is going to change the way we go forward. As the great Maya Angelou says, up from the past that's rooted in pain, I rise. So class of 2020, you rise. Give yourselves a personal hug. Give your classmates a virtual fist bump. Give your folks your deepest gratitude and celebrate yourselves wherever you are right now. This is your moment of achievement and nothing can take that away. Congratulations, Congratulations class of 2020. Welcome to the Columbus Afrocentric Early College High School Graduation Ceremony for the Class of 2020. We ask that everyone please stand for the recitation of our school vision. The school vision is located on page five of the graduation program. Please feel free to join us. Our school vision, high achievement and early college for each student as we affirm the positive leadership of African Americans to benefit the global community. Our leadership principles of Maya, balance, harmony, justice, reciprocity, righteousness, and truth. Our community values of Nguza Saba, unity, Umoja, self-determination, Kujichagulia, collective work and responsibility, Ujima, Purpose, Nia, Creativity, Kumba, and Faith, Imani. You may be seated. Would the class of 2020 please stand? Graduates, today you are joined in your homes and in homes throughout the city by hundreds of your closest friends, family members, and mentors. Would you please take a moment to acknowledge your supporters? Thank you. And would everyone please join the class of 2020 standing as Keila Johnson comes to the podium. Hello, my name is Keila Johnson. I am the president for the class of 2020. Next fall, I will be attending Columbus State Community College. I would like to introduce Sanaya Stringer, CAEC alumni. I, be, I will be reciting the Pledge of Allegiance followed by the Black National Anthem, sung by Sanaya Stringer. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the singing of the Black National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. 
Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies of liberty Let our rejoicing rise high as a listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of a faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of a new day begun, let us march on till victory is won. Seniors, it is my honor to address the class of 2020 and congratulate each of you on your graduation. Though you're not together with your classmates in the same place to mark this important milestone, I am no less proud of each of you. It does not diminish your achievements individually or collectively. As I pre-record this message today, which is Monday, June 15th, to address the class of 2020, all of us are reeling from a roller coaster of raw emotions. Each of you and your families, our city, our country, and the entire world is still coping with the health and economic impacts of the COVID-19 world pandemic and our hearts and minds continue to be filled with sadness, anger, frustration, and disgust at yet another brutal act against a member of the African-American community. Columbus City Schools has reaffirmed its commitment to the fight to overcome systemic racism and working for change in our schools and in our community. As superintendent, together with the Board of Education, I am committed to making meaningful, forward-thinking changes that address racism, sexism, and gender and religious-based biases inside and outside of our classrooms. Today, I ask each of you to join me by making your own commitment to be an agent of change. The commitment to change is how you decide to define it. And you should know that your definition of change will, well, change. It is what former First Lady Michelle Obama calls becoming. I believe we need immediate change and we need long-term lasting change. In fact, we must demand both. We cannot stay the same as individuals if we are to transform as a community and as a society. I close with a quote from President Barack Obama as told by Michelle Obama in her book, Becoming. She quotes the president as telling those who join him to address social change from the streets of Chicago to the halls of the White House. Do we settle for the world as it is, or do we work for the world as it should be? My call, my challenge to the class of 2020 is a commitment to the latter. Please celebrate change Please be the change. Graduation is a special occasion for students and parents alike. It is special in that, as most significant events in life, it has not come easy. 
the challenges faced by students and those who have pushed, pulled, and indeed prodded them leading up to this day pay homage to the fact that indeed hard work does pay off. This gathering is representative of the collective efforts of these graduates and those individuals, most of whom are present today, who have sought after their better end and what is in their best interest. For the graduating class of 2020, this ceremony marks the end of one journey and the beginning of the next. By all accounts, this has been a remarkable year. COVID-19 and the tragic death of George Floyd have cast an indelible mark on this year and this graduation, graduating class. Indeed, this class of 2020 has, out of necessity and through their own efforts, been equally remarkable. They have creatively celebrated the achievement of this benchmark on various social media outlets and have participated in socially distant peaceful protests that affirm that Black Lives Matter. As a parent of a graduating senior myself this year, I have listened with great empathy to the concerns of parents and students amid a global pandemic that has changed the trajectory of what any of us could have anticipated would be the culminating journey of 13 years. However, we are here and we are grateful to be here. And even though maybe not how we imagined it, we are honored to celebrate the success of our students. I would like to provide our students and community with a few brief thoughts for reflection. Amidst challenge and tragedy, there is opportunity for change, often rapid change and growth, but we must be positioned for it. Dr. Martin Luther King said in 1966 that it is dangerous to build a society where a large majority of the population has no stake in it. I would add that it is equally dangerous not to take hold of that societal interest once you are presented with it. One of the realities of COVID-19, other than masks, is the institution of thermometers at jobs and other public spaces as a means for detecting whether a person might be infected by an indication of their internal temperature. Thermometers are also used by meteorologists like our commencement speaker, Al Roker, to detect the temperature outside. Thermometers are indispensable in that they help us to be proactive in our plans and to prevent the spread of disease. However, I would like to suggest to you today that the social issues we face require something more than thermometers. These issues require that we become social thermostats. Thermostats, which most of us have to control the temperatures in our homes, don't respond to conditions, rather they influence conditions. You are an influencer. Whether you are going to work in art, business, community, education, direct media, government, or healthcare, influence that space with the knowledge that systemic injustice which persists can in truth only be addressed by a systemic commitment to perpetuate justice. And now, Tonasia Wilder, Vice President for the Class of 2020. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tonasia Water, and I am the senior class vice president for the class of 2020. Next year, I will be attending Wright State University. I have the privilege and honor to introduce the senior class presentations. The class valedictorian and salutatorian will provide a moment of reflection and inspiration. First, Destiny Thomas, valedictorian, will present her speech entitled, We Are the Change Agents. Destiny will be followed by Hule Me Too, Jalo, Class Salutorian, providing a reflection entitled, Where the Future Takes You. Please welcome Destiny Thomas. Hello, Class of 2020. We made it. Thank you for tuning in.
I know this is not how any of us would like our graduation. However, it is what we must do to stay safe. First, I would thank all of CAEC staff, especially the steep teachers, because they have taught and guided us into our futures over the years. Many of you since you were in kindergarten. I would like to thank the administration for hosting this event. I would like to give a special thank you to the people that were important to me being here today. My loving family, my best friend, Baba Ryder and Mama Imai, who have been an inspiration to me and I will take their lessons with me into the future. Also Mama Snyder, who works tirelessly to get us into college and on the right path as we pursue our next journey. Without her, I would not be going to college this fall. It took a lot for me to speak to y'all today, and I do mean a lot. Writing this speech was the hardest thing I had to do all senior year, and I had chemistry and pre-calculus. I mean, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to say. How was I going to inspire my class as they move on with their lives, especially after everything that has happened these last four months? I started to think over the last four years and what I learned. I thought about what I wanted to remember and live by in my next steps. A quote by Martin Luther King Jr. resonated with me. It says, take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. I know that some of us don't know what's next and some of us do, and that is okay. We are young, but whatever you do, as Martin Luther King Jr. says, step in faith. There's not a timeline on success. Nothing said you do not have your whole life together by 25, you have failed. We tend to focus so much on the destination that we do not enjoy the journey. I hope there was never a time where you say, this is enough, I've lived enough, I have enough money, I've traveled enough places, I've seen enough things. Like in, in education, the world's opportunities are limitless. Even though on our journey, we will encounter obstacles that we as African Americans face, such as the unprecedented COVID, institutional racism, police brutality, and disenfranchisement, we must not give up. At CEC, we learned the fight of our ancestors endured, but their legacy lives. It lives within each one of you. We are the future leaders that can make change in this world. We know who we are. We know we come from kings and queens. We are the change agents. We will make a difference. With that being said, pursue your dreams and step in faith into your journey and remember to look back to what got you there and help someone else get there too. Congratulations class of 2020, class that has a mark on history in the world. I know you will do great things. Always remember, you matter. Black Lives Matter. Good afternoon, parents, teachers, family, friends, and my fellow graduates. We finally made it. My name is Hulay Matujalo, and it is my honor to be here as salutatorian for the class of 2020 at Columbus Afrocentric Early College. I think I can safely speak on behalf of all my classmates when I say thank you for joining us in this memorable occasion. Although this isn't the traditional graduation we hope for, I'm excited to be here at this point in our journey. To our families, I'd like to say the unconditional love and support has made all of the difference. The heart and words of encouragement and all contributions to our education have not gone unnoticed. Speaking personally, I am thankful for my hardworking and devoted parents who took interest in seeing me succeed. They put in a lot of hours to make sure I was doing what I was supposed to be doing. A high school diploma opens many doors of opportunity for anyone who is lucky enough to have one. Many of us worked hard to get to this day and our hard work will not go to waste. Wherever your future takes you, whether it's college, trade school, the military, or the workforce, or the workforce, please know that life is a journey and all accomplishments we achieve during this course will give you a head start for greater achievements. In conclusion, I would like to thank our unsung heroes, our teachers for all you did throughout the school year. I would like to end this with my favorite quote, everything will happen for you all of a sudden and you will be thankful you didn't give up, blessings are coming. And in the midst of everything going on in the world right now, remember to stay safe and stay blessed. Thank you. Greetings. My name is Henry Warren. I'm the assistant principal at Columbus Afrocentric Early College. CAEC is unique in that we are three schools, elementary, middle school, and high school on one campus. Students have the opportunity to begin here in pre-K and stay throughout their entire K-12 education. At this time, I would like to present CAEC counselor, Tanya Street, who will be presenting the Legacy Awards for the class of 2020. It is said that a legacy is that which one leaves behind upon which those coming after can build. The legacy members of the class of 2020 are leaving a legacy of courage, strength, endurance, and pride. 
You were born on the heels of 9-11, and you graduate in the midst of two pandemics, COVID-19 and systemic racism. Yet, you are graduating. You are the epitome of fortitude. You have shown us that if you are knocked down, you have to get back up. And if you can't get up, just crawl. Just as in the sport of boxing, it is also true in life. The victory goes not to the one who is least hit, but to the one who won't quit. You did not quit. That is your legacy. The legacy students for 2020 are Kennedy Brogdon, Kyrie Cummings, Rika Gaston, Josen Russell, Tony Wade. Columbus City Schools to the class of 2020. Congratulations, it's your boy E.T. Let me just share with you three things that I think are important. I, so I know you were disappointed. I mean, I get it. I will never forget um, my junior year, my junior year in high school. You know, I finally did driver's ed, you know, um, uh, applied for my driver's license. You know, I took the test, you know, uh, did the driver's test and voila, got my license, right? And my mom blessed me with her old car. I'll never forget, Escort. <laughs> I'll never forget, it was an 84 Escort, right? Super pumped up. Guys, in the first two weeks of me having the vehicle, guess what? I got into a car accident, right? And I remember it like yesterday. It was a hit and run. I remember I hit this old lady. I wasn't paying attention. Didn't stop at the red light. Crashed into her. And look, I'm going to be real with y'all. I was so nervous. I was so afraid. I actually drove the car that I broke that axle. You could hardly drive it. I drove that sucker up the street, got out and ran. <laughs> yup, I ran from the scene of the crime. And I'll never forget police calling my mom. I'll never forget the police coming by the house and I lost my car. I wasn't able to do certain things. And I just remember an old wise person saying this to me. At some point, regardless of how difficult it is, how challenging it is, how hurt you are that you got your license, your first car, and you totaled it, you got to get over it. All right, come on. I'm talking to somebody today. As devastating as COVID-19 was and is and how it rocked our worlds and changed our plans, at some point, you have to put it behind you in the rearview mirror and you got to move forward. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And guess what? This is probably not going to surprise you, but I've had three or four cars since then. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? I've had three or four cars. So where your focus goes, your, en your energy flows. So if you're going to continue to think about, I didn't get to graduate, you know, I didn't get a prom, I didn't go on my senior trip. Like if you focus on everything that didn't happen, you know what? You're going to go on a, a spiral downward. I will never forget growing up a Detroit Lion fan and Barry Sanders, who's probably one of the greatest running backs to ever do it. I remember he wouldn't celebrate. And I would always ask, like, why is he not celebrating like some of the other football players? You know what he said? He said, my daddy told me, you will continue to score. You're going to keep getting touchdowns. You're going to keep getting a lot of yards. Like, don't act brand new. Don't act like you're not going to do it again. Guys, you're going to get opportunities to graduate college. You're going to get opportunities to graduate law school, graduate from medical school, all right, whatever. You're going to get opportunities, all right? So let's put this behind us. Remember, where your focus goes, your energy flows. So this leads me to number two. Look, if you got bad energy, all right, you're probably going to give 70%, 80%. When you have good energy, you're going to give 120%. And watch me. You actually attract more by being 120 than you attract at 70 all right, let me just be real. You know what I'm talking about. Some of you don't like to wash the dishes. Some of you don't like to do the trash. Some of you don't like to cut the grass. Like, you just don't like chores. Some of you, like, you don't like doing homework. And watch this. When you do things and you don't like to do those things, you don't put the same energy in. And as a result, you don't get the same outcomes, guys. If you want to blow up, if you want to make a lot of money, if you want to live in a gated community, if you want to drive whatever car you want to drive, if you want to be your own boss, if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to change the world, like if you got dreams, goals, and plans, you cannot waste your energy. 
Listen to me, you only get 24 hours in a day. You only get so many opportunities. You can't waste those opportunities because you own some negative. You can't waste those opportunities because you don't particularly care for this or you don't particularly like, here's what my, I love it. Here's what my parents used to tell me back in the day. Listen to me, you don't have to like washing the dishes, but you're gonna wash them anyway. You don't have to like cutting the grass, but you're gonna cut it anyway. You don't like, have to like taking out the trash, but you're gonna have to take it out anyway. You don't have to like going to school, but you're gonna go anyway. If I were you, since I have to do it anyway, I would enjoy it. And so you gotta find a way when others are down and out. You gotta find a, a, a way when others don't like it. You gotta learn to enjoy the sun, but you also gotta enjoy the rain. You gotta know that while you love playing in the sun, if it was only sun, if only the sun shine, then the trees wouldn't grow and the flowers wouldn't grow and we wouldn't get vegetables. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Everybody loved the sun, but can you stand the rain? And what I need you to understand is that there are blessings when the sun shines, there are blessings, oh, come on. When the rain comes down, there are blessings when it snow. Do you know in, in certain places in the United States of America, that when it actually gets cold in wintertime, do you understand that it kills certain germs, it kills certain bugs? There are blessings in what you would think is a cursing. I'll never forget, my wife got diagnosed with multiple sclerosis about five years ago. Oh, I, when I tell you one of the best things that could have happened to our marriage, best thing could have happened to our career, best thing could have happened to our family. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Why? Because she left her job. Because we started exercising more. Because we changed our diet. Right, because we started traveling the world together. And there were opportunities that came to us that had she not gotten sick, she would still be at her job for the next 20 years. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your attitude determines your altitude. Are you hearing me? And so oftentimes, you think it's the circumstance or you think it's the situation that's a blessing. No, it's your perspective, how you see it. Henry Ford says, if you think you can, you're right. If you think you can't, you're right. All right, I'm going to say it again. If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. And so I need you to change your attitude. I need you when it's bad, I need you to see it's good. When it's good, I need you to see it's good. And when it's great, I need you to see it's great. I'll say it again. When it's great, I need you to see that it's great. When it's good, I think you need to see it as great. And when it's bad, you need to see it as great. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your attitude actually determines the outcome. The outcome don't determine the outcome. The circumstance and the situation doesn't determine the outcome. You determine the outcome. Now listen to me. I got two more things for you. The next one I want to say to you is listen to me. I, I dare you to dream. I want you to dream the dream, but then I want you to work it. Listen to me. The dream works, but you got to work it. The only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. Are you hearing me? The only place where success comes before work is in a dictionary. You can have it, but you got to work for it. And then my final one, when you become an adult, there are going to be days that you just don't feel like trying. But here's what I want you to do for me. I want you to always remember, I can, I will, and I must. In your darkest days, I need you to repeat that. I can, I will, I must. So as I leave, I know you remember the story. I know you remember the story, the, the, the little train that could. Yep. I know you remember that, that train when it looked at the train track and it looked at how high that train track was. It, it said, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know it. Something said, just get, on, just get on the track. Like, just give it a try. And so it got on that little train, got on the track. Chooka, 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 choo. Chooka, 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 choo. Choo. And it got on that track and it started going a little bit. And it started going a little bit. And it started, listen to me very closely in life. Sometimes you won't feel like it, but if you put your shoes on anyhow. Sometimes in life, you're not going to feel like it, but if you put your pants on anyhow. Sometimes in life, you're not going to feel it, but if you put your hoodie on anyhow. Sometimes in life, you may not feel it, but if you put your baseball cap on anyhow. Sometimes in life, you're not going to want to do it, but if you try anyhow, you're going to find that you can muster up the strength, that you can muster up every, the attitude, that you can muster up everything you need to be everything you need to be. And that doggone train got on that track, and after a while it said, I think I can, 
I think I can. And it got up that hill a little bit more and it said, I think I can. I think I can. And as it got to the hardest part, it says, I know I can. Chuka, chuka, choo. Chuka, chuka, choo. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And you do, I think I can enough till you wake up and say, I know I can. I got my GED. I think I could go to college. I got my four year degree. I think I could get my master's. I got my master's degree. I know I could get my PhD. Come on, ladies, say it with attitude. I know I can. I know I can. I can. I will. I'm a. Come on, fellas, say it. I can. Give me that bass. I can. I will. I must. Remember, you can because you have the ability to. I will because you have what it takes. I must because somebody's counting on you. It's your boy, E.T. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Make your next move your best move and make the rest of your life the best of your life. It's your boy, E.T. 2020, the world is yours. I'm going to take it. Board President Adair and Superintendent Dixon, I hereby certify that each member of the June 2020 graduating class of Columbus Afrocentric Early College High School has met the prescribed requirements of the United States Department of Education, the Ohio Department of Education, and the Columbus City School Board of Education for graduation from high school, and that each is prepared to receive the appropriate diploma. Staff, please prepare for the presentation of diplomas at this time. Student names will be read by Ms. Tanya Street, CAEC High School Counselor, and Mr. Henry Warren, Columbus Afrocentric Early College High School Assistant Principal. Franchel R. Allen. Jasmine D. L. Bowman. Jonathasia J. Bozeman. Kennedy A. Brogdon. Marcus A. Brown. Romel D. Brown. Lanetta A. Bush. Jalen S. Karstringer. Milton E. Christie. Keisha K. Collins. Kyrie Cummings. Kalijawan M. Davis. Hule Matu Jano. Samaj Damon A. Irving. Trejan Figueroa. Zyla R. Ford. Rika L. Gaston. Anias R. Green. Carl J. Hampton. Kayon M. Hansard. Caleb A. Hardy. Dylan W. Hargrave. Cameron A. Harp, Jr. Autumn T. Holston. Hervon A. Jacobs. Andrew C. T. Jamar Jennings. Jasmine M. Jamison. Keela A. Johnson. Kenaya C. Jones. Zion T. Laud. Brooklyn K. Lindsay. Lashani M. Lindsay. 
Shakia A. Locke. Jamilia P. Long. Jerusalem A. Menelik. Austin R. Morris. Gianni K. Parnell. Ashley G. Pavin. Colin J. Peoples. Shaman N. Payton. Kiara D. Pollard Cartwell. Malachi D. Rash. Desmond L. Rimber. Traquan M. Robinson. Mayana E. Ross. Savannah K. Rowell. Joseph M. Russell. Jayshon B. Sanford Vance. Danasia M. Center. Nautica N. Simpson. Quinnell V. Sims Ross. Alexia L. Smith. Tizaria J. Smith. Ashanti A. Stewart. Shania M. Stewart. Christian S. Stewart. Destiny D. Thomas. Niam A. Thornton. Leticia M. Travis. Brian R. Triplett. Shamar Z. Tucker. Tony F. Wade. Javion Wakil. Ebony O. Walker. Ebony C. Walker. Sakima L. Walker. Krishan J. Ward. Ariana D. White. Tonasia R. Wilder. Tashiana M. Williams. Nia S. Warsham. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Columbus Afrocentric Early College High School Graduating Class of 2020. Hello everyone, my name is Romel Brown, Student Council Treasurer. Congratulations graduates, you may now change your tassels right to left. Thank you for your attention and once again, Congratulations, graduates. Class of 2020, it is the privilege of the Columbus Board of Education to accept the certification of your diplomas. Let us be the first to officially congratulate you. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. Columbus graduates, congratulations and best wishes for success. COVID y el racismo no pueden detenerlos. COVID y el racismo COVID and racism can't stop us. Congratulations, class of 2020. Board member Dr. Tina Pierce here. Congratulations, class of 2020. I can't wait to see all the great things you will achieve in the future. Congratulations, class of 2020. We love you and all the best. Carpe diem, seize the day. Felicidades. Congratulations, class of 2020 seniors.